Hey everybody! Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub dot com. You got it. You knew it. All right. Tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. Tonight's movie, American Assassin. Pretty excited for it. If you can't tell them, I, you know, I like when these new movies come out and I get to see them, and I have high expectations. Um, but basically, let's give you the ratings for first. Six point four on IMDb and on um, Rotten Tomatoes, thirty four percent from the critics. So that's rotten. But sixty five percent for the audience or the users, as we used to know. Um, it stars uh, Dylan O'Brien from the Maze Runner, right? Maze Runner, or whatever. Michael Keaton uh, from everything going all the way back to uh, Mr. Mom, uh, Gung Ho, <laughs> and uh, Birdman, most recently. That's where he won an Oscar. Not him, but the movie. Anyway, enough about him. And Taylor Kitsch, Friday Night Lights. Um, so you know him. Uh, and uh, that's really all I know. But uh, the uh, movie is basically, um, I think it's uh, Dylan O'Brien's character's girlfriend gets killed by terrorists, and therefore he joins an assassin group um, during the Cold War. It's from what I got from reading it, but that's what I get from reading it. You can read the same thing. You don't need to tune into Kimmel's Irish Pub for me to read to you. So I will start watching it, and I will let you know truly what it is about and share any interesting facts that I might pick up along the way. I'm excited. I hope you are too. I will be back in a crossfade. Alright, so stay tuned. I'll let you know how it's going. Hey everybody, I want to do a real quick check in here. Uh, it's only the 11 minutes and 51 seconds into the movie, but I'm realizing sometimes I forget what I want to tell you. I wait too long uh, throughout the movie and I forget some, some details I want to share. So I want to rectify that and jump in here real quick. So the beginning of the movie starts with him on a beach with his girlfriend proposes to her there and then fiance goes to get two drinks uh, to celebrate it and that's when the terrorists storm the beach and just starting shooting random people um, so two interesting points that I wanted to call out here so in the right in the beginning it's obviously not a spoiler you know that was gonna happen at some point but um, you know he gets shot like twice um, and he's running to his his fiance and she gets shot right and she goes down she gets shot right in the chest and goes down and then he's still crawling to try and get to her, even though we all know she's dead. Meanwhile, a terrorist walks right by him, and he, as he's moving, crawling, and then shoots her, even though she's already dead, shoots her a couple more times to make sure she's dead, but doesn't shoot him. Makes no sense at all. You could obviously tell that he's alive, so there's a little flaw there, unless, you know what I mean? Because, I don't know, so that was strange, whatever. But he survives, and now he's training. And here's the other interesting part. I was watching the beginning, and, he, and he's in a bathing suit, and I was like, eh. You know, I thought he'd be more built to become an American spy or an assassin of some sort, you know, I figured. But then it jumps forward 18 months, and now he's uh, a lot different than he was in Maze Runner. And it made me think, I was like, man, how awesome would that? They had to film that, that part, the opening scene. Not, not that he's like, you know, he's just not as built um, or buff, if you will, in the beginning scene. And now he is, and he's all muscular and stuff like that. And it neat because probably what had happened in real life was they filmed that and then he had to go train real hard to get big and buff and you know sometimes I wish I could be an actor so that I could get big and buff <laughs> you know and just and get paid a lot of money and be famous and stuff like that but just for like hey your job now for the next three months is to just work out and then you get like like that um, so I want to quick jump in there so far so good um, <clears throat> Um, some more behind it, just to let you know, he is, um, you know, he's training, kickboxing, shooting, um, throwing knives and stuff like that, and then he's chatting online with um, uh, Islamic people, um, trying to join them, is what is going on right now. Um, and But he's being um, surveilled, I, I believe, by the U.S. government, so not much more to go on there. It's only 12 minutes into the movie, but I had to jump in here quick and let you know what's going on. I'm going to... Um, Join it, it started again, and I'll be back in a crossfade. Hey, everybody. Uh, I thought I'd do another quick check in here. Um, one more before the credits. We're at the one hour and 20 minute mark and 44 seconds. It's an hour and 51 minute movie, so there's another 30 minutes left. Uh, <clears throat> but, you know, not, not a lot more to, to go into detail. Uh, as I mentioned, um, the, the main character, his name is Mitch, um, trains himself because his fiance girlfriend got killed by terrorists. Uh, Michael Keaton is part of the CIA, um, so he gets recruited then by the CIA. So I think I, what I shared last time was he was going after the um, terrorists on his own, 
and he does get to them, but then the CIA swoops in, and then they recruit him, and then he's trained by Michael Keaton, um, who's an ex-Navy SEAL, and it's CIA, so they start training him, uh, to be an assassin of some sort and uh, doing work for them against terrorists. And then, in addition to that, so Taylor Kitsch, I think that's his name, you know, um, from Friday Night Lights, he is, um, you know, doing deals for trying to create a nuclear bomb and build one and then probably sell it to somebody else so that they could use it. But he is basically what Mitch is now. So he used to be like a CIA operative very good at it. He used to be Michael Keaton's number one guy, but now he's kind of defected and, and he's out on his own. Um, and he's like the villain of the movie. So essentially, they're trying to catch him, although he's really good at it. And Mitch is new, but he's really good at it too. So and Mitch is the character's name for uh, uh, Dylan O'Brien. Anyway, um, so, you know, it's like an international spy thriller, I guess, you know, action. It's pretty good. Um, nothing amazing has happened yet, uh, but it, it's pretty good, so I'm going to get back to it here, but I wanted to catch up on where we are um, without giving away any spoilers, but we got 30 minutes left, so we'll see, how, we'll see what happens, and I'll check you at the credits and uh, let you know my final synopsis. All right, see you then. Hey, everybody. We're at the credits. Um, just finished up. It was it was a good, not great movie. I'll probably give it an overall 7. Um, I think I told you everything that, that's pretty much important about it without giving away what's going to happen. Uh, as I said, that they're, they were searching or, or trying to find Taylor Kitsch, who is building a nuclear bomb, um, and he was working with um, some foreign people uh, to get a finance and get a built and stuff like that, and we weren't sure what the whole um, purpose of the bomb was, and that does become revealed to you at the end, um, and I don't want to spoil that for you. Um, and you know a little bit a little bit of a twist but uh, you know a lot of good action um, a little far-fetched unbelievable how you know somebody off the street bec becomes an immediate CIA operative just as good as a guy who's been in there for many many years and has gone rogue so you know you got that part of it but uh, you know if you're not really picky in the, the stuff I told you about in the beginning um, on why they you know why didn't they shoot him um, but uh, you know besides that stuff it's a fun film to watch. Like I said, a lot of action and stuff. Um, so, if this is your type of movie, I encourage you to watch it. Um, again, good, not great, seven overall. Um, and that's about it. So, let me know what you think. Hit the like button, um, comment below, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.